Hello friends, it's Julie Norman and today we're going to talk about what an unfinished, unfitted kitchen is and what that has to do with the type of planner that you pick. I know it's kind of a stretch, but lately I've been watching, I've been kind of obsessing about this YouTube channel. It's called Farmhouse Vernacular. And this woman who is an efficiency expert, she is hired by companies and then she, they get a Victorian house and she wants to have an efficient kitchen. And what got me was she was reacting to a, a kitchen video, a video probably made in the forties or fifties where it was very efficient. And I love that video. It's like, I want that kitchen. And when I saw this lady reviewing it in her thoughts, I, and then I, I went down the rabbit hole and I watched all her videos. So basically unfitted kitchen it, are kitchens that don't have like the built-in cupboards and the cabinets and they are free, more freestanding. They, they of course have a sink that's attached with plumbing. Um, you could have like the fridge and the stove, whatever. They were more made before 1910, 1920 or so. And, you know, if you think about the old homesteaders, that is what they had. They had a stove. They had maybe a table. Maybe they had a hutch or some shelves in the wall. Those are unfitted kitchens. And you would think that those were not very efficient, but they had everything in one spot and things are multifunctional. So are you getting where I'm coming from for the um, planners? Because you know what kind of planner I like, don't you? If you've watched me for a while. A precursor of the cupboards was the Hoosier cabinet. And I mentioned that in, or I will be mentioning it in a video depending on the um, the order. I've been doing a few pre pre videos because I'm going to be uh, taking a little time off. So anyways, who's your cabinets? They are all in one units where you could have your flour sifted in flour sifter. You have a little countertop for workspace. Everything is right there reachable. So all you have to do is stand in one spot and make stuff. Isn't that doesn't that sound efficient? I, I love who's your cabinets. I want one. I, <laughs> anyways, um, so I was thinking about this and I just love the thought of the unfinished unfitted kitchen. Now the benefits of that is that if you get tired of your kitchen layout, all you have to do is rearrange your furniture. Um, of course, you know, the stove and the sink are not as easy to rearrange, but usually your sink is by your window. Um, your stove is usually not too far away. So there's a lot of things you can shuffle around. And I like the thought of the, instead of an island, you have a work table that has the um, drop leaves so you can make it bigger. Um, and she, another interesting thing this lady said, her name is Paige, is that you really, for 80% of your cooking, you only need like uh, four square feet of space. So like a two foot length of counter space. And that's really true for me because um, our island gets so messy and full of stuff that we just kind of go like that when we make um, make our dinner. And it's, it's about less than two feet of space is what we really use to make our dinner unless it's something big like we're making like a turkey or something but she says for 80% of the time that's all you need and then you use the drop leaves and unfold them when you need more space and otherwise because flat surfaces collect things yeah I know because I know, all flat surfaces around me that I'm looking at right now almost all I have something on them so um, you basically, for efficiency's sake, you have things all close together. You have the magic triangle of about this area, you know, around your, your waist. I, you can't see me pointing there. That's a magic triangle where you want things to go. So what does this have to do with planning? Okay, so you, there is a video that I did, and I will link it above uh, quite a little bit ago now, that talked about the different kinds of planners that you might like. And we did, let's see here. We did this little workup in the video, and this was about through the series of, it was one of my past series, but I'll link it for you. And it, there are preferences that everyone has. So we have up here, we have um, pre-made and filled, and then we have minimal, guided, and blank. And then on this side, there is bound, fixed, and then multiple units and expandable. So in there, if you are, say, 
a bound, you like things that are bound, but you also like to have a minimal blank, then this is the kind that you, you need. So it, it explains more in the video. But I fall in this category here, where we are minimal guided and blank and multiple units and expandable. That's why I like Traveler's Notebooks and like the disc bound. Um, I prefer the Traveler's Notebook because to me that feels more like a book, but that's just, yeah, we can go down the rabbit trail of why I like Traveler's Notebooks. But um, to keep this short, that Traveler's Notebooks and the um, multiple units, the fixed for me, that is like the unfitted kitchen. So I'm not tied down to one bound book, which are like all the cupboards that are arranged and that you can't really rearrange your cupboards in your, your kitchen unless you do a whole overhaul which is expensive. So that's to me, is like the bound book. But some people really like to have that fixed cabinetry, i.e. books that are all set out and have the whole year set for you. Um, you've got all the everything in place. All you have to do is fill in. You fill in all your dates and all your stuff. It's kind of like just filling the kitchen cupboards up. You don't have to think about it. Um, it and it's like having a kitchen cupboard layout that, set, that has everything labeled. So you don't even have to figure out where to put stuff. Can you imagine somebody doing that for you? And some people would really love that and not have to think about it and just say, okay, here, I'm going to purchase this kitchen. It's probably a little bit more expensive because it's all laid out and I don't have to think about anything. But all I have to do is take my boxes of stuff and put them where it's labeled. So that is the fitted kitchen with all the cupboards. And there from that to what I like, there's a whole array of preferences. So if I'm thinking that if we prefer one type of planner in our life, would that carry it on to other parts of our life? Such as me liking that um, multiple options, like the modular things that can change around and that are blank, kind of a blank canvas that I can make it my own. Um, it's that's the way my planners are. So is it any surprise that once I found the concept of a unfitted kitchen, I really want one. My husband is not so much. So think about that. If wherever you fall on this scale, um, any square, could it be that the rest of your preferences in your life are that way? Uh, down to the kind of job you have, the kind of school you go to, um, your, your spouse, maybe even down to the way you like to organize things, your kitchen. Yeah, there's just all the, all of these thoughts that was going through my mind about the fitted, unfitted kitchen. It's kind of like my planner. So f you can either do this one of two ways to kind of ho see how you feel about it. One is if you really are solid on knowing what kind of planner that you like, then you can expand that to the rest of your life. Um, if you really like the modular stuff, the things that you can mix and match, and but they all fit together, that's probably the kind of house you like too. Let me know if I'm wrong about this, but I, I think that, that um, if we're in strongly in one corner and one of them, I think it's gonna flow into the rest of our, our uh, life or our, our what I really, at heart really want. And if you know what kind of house or structure that you like to live in, then it might flow into your planner. So kind of see if that matches up for you. It might just be a harebrained idea because maybe I'm weird and, okay, yeah, I am a little weird, but maybe I'm an exception to this, but I don't think so. I think that from what I've seen of your comments and your replies, that I think this could very well be true. So as for me, I'm going to consider how to make my kitchen more unfitted. Luckily for me, I live in a 1940s house with very little built-in cupboards. I didn't think that was lucky when I, mil when I moved here. But the oven the stove is freestanding. There's no like counter space next to it. The fridge is freestanding. You know, there's no built-in cupboards around it. But there is one bank of cupboards, bank of cupboards, and I will show a picture of what it looked like when we moved in. Again, this is a rental. We rent on a four thousand acre ranch. We are the extra house. It's functional place. And I'm even going to think maybe I'm going to finally paint. We thought we'd only be in here a few year, couple years, but it's been about five. And so now um, I want to see what I can do to make it a little bit more functional as an unfitted kitchen, which crossover.
because of course there's fitted stuff, but there's a lot I can do to make it kind of that fun feel of unfitted and the furnishings. Um, it's the difference between having built-in cupboards as opposed to having pieces of furniture. So if I didn't make myself clear on what the difference is, I'm going to link below some videos that you might find interesting. And um, I did talk to, uh, mention this to Chelsea, my friend who has been in baking and she's worked in a lot of restaurants, but she knew the concept because in restaurants, that is exactly how they have their kitchens is all that um, stainless steel tables and cupboards and stuff. So. Um, if you think about restaurants or unfitted kitchens, and they are very efficient. So I don't know why we don't talk about efficient kitchens more. It's more, and when I look at HTTV, it's all about your granite com countertops and your kitchen island and all this space in your pantry. And I think in reality that that's not efficient. It is very pretty and you think it's going to be functional. But for me, it would end up being a big clutter catcher and very stressful. So I'm thinking about that for the, the house that we're someday going to buy or build. So that's my thoughts for today. A little harebrained. It, you know, how do you fit kitchen layouts with planners? The more they think about it, I think you might think there's something to this. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. And if you've, have you heard of an unfitted kitchen before? Probably seen the concept. Thank you for coming along with me on this little thought process of mine. And I hope this was helpful for you. And most of all, hope you have a joyful day. Goodbye.